Hi. Today I want to give you a solution to a long-standing problem in Revit. And that is, when you create schedules of families and you have a linked model, how can you transfer the information of the link room and name into the and a schedule of elements of certain category. So we all know that this is not something you can do out of the box and there are some workarounds. Like for example, you can uh, recreate the rooms from one model into another one. I mean, you can copy paste them, but then it generates another management problem because then the, the room information needs to be synchronized at all time, uh, which is not optimal. Um, and there may be other solutions out there that are paid, but uh, I want to show you a Dynamo solution for this problem. So on the screen, you have a set of um, furniture placed inside uh, rooms of a linked file. There are no living rooms in this current model. And when I create a schedule of furniture, obviously I cannot, that information doesn't translate. So in, in, in Dynamo, I created this uh, simple definition. Uh, I just click Run. And then uh, all the information about room name and room number will be automatically associated uh, to the schedule of furniture. So how do we do this? All right, the first step is to um, create a uh, two parameters inside the category of object you want to schedule. In my example, I created a parameter called FFNE room name and FFNE room number. These are parameters that will receive the information coming from the link file. The second step is uh, download two packages. You need a package called Spring Notes, um, which is an excellent set of uh, additional uh, functionality for Dynamo. And you need another, another package called Archilab. You can find them in the package manager. Just do search and uh, you can install it yourself. So let me walk you through the definition. And uh, this has four parts. The first part of notes is to obtain information about the link rooms. Uh, the input in here is this code block. Inside this code block, you need to type uh, the file name of your linked file. And you need to type it exactly the same way it's created, including spaces and caps. Uh, you don't have to add the extension RVT. And this uh, Boolean mask enables me to select that link file in case you have multiple definitions. Uh, this node, the Spring Collector Linked Instance Element, is a fantastic node that enables me to sort uh, for uh, elements inside a link file. In uh, this example, I'm sorting for the elements contained in the room category inside the link file. And out of here, you know, I'll get all the rooms of the link file, which is fantastic. The next set of nodes is uh, selecting elements by category. So this is just a selection of my current furniture elements. And then this other node called elements in room, which is uh, available via the Archilab package, uh, enable me to locate those pieces of furniture in the list of room extracted from the link file. Um, and then I clean the list of empty values. And these are rooms that do not contain any type of furniture. This set of nodes, uh, it's what enable me to map the room name and room number with the different elements of furniture inside the room. So what I'm basically doing is extracting the parameter value of name and number from the room objects in the link file and then uh, um, recreating a list of those name and numbers uh, 
to populate parameter values uh, in the furniture category. Uh, I am cleaning the list uh, of uh, empty values. Um, in the list cycle, again, make sure that when you place it, it is laced to the longest in order to access the information at the second hierarchy of the uh, data structure. And then the last set of nodes is to change the parameter values of the furniture. These are my furniture room name and room number custom parameters. And I'm going to assign it the clean values coming out from this uh, cycle or this, this list of uh, elements. So it is, again, a very simple definition. It's running from left to right. This set obtain the link information of the rooms. The set of nodes select elements by category and associate them to the link rooms. This set of nodes obtain the room name and number and associate it with the, the rooms. And the last one is the change to the parameter values of the room name and room number. Uh, and the beauty of this is that you can run this at any point should the information changes. An example. I'm going to merge the information of this uh, room inside here um, and then uh, these pieces of furniture I'm going to move them into this room so now I only have the furniture in two rooms um, notice on the right side how the information is going to get updated upon running the definition click run and now um, I only have those elements placed into rooms. Uh, Alright, I hope this is useful for you. Thank you.